attack has or GX attack is Soul Burst. And so with Soul Burst, we get to search up to our deck, search our deck for up to five energy cards and attach them to Pokemon in any way we like. And so it our base attack is 230. Within this deck, I do not use any what would you say? I don't use any I don't use any choice bands. I didn't use any choice bands because 230 hits for a lot of Okos right now. It there's not a lot of things out there that's gonna beat this 230. I feel like it's a solid number. So also on the board I have Magnazone, the energy um, energy accelerating one, the one that has magnetic circuit. And it's the one that as often as you like during your turn, before your attack, you may attach a metal energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So it's basically a Deluge Blastoise, and we can just put it on any Pokemon that we like. So with discarding all our energy from Sunseal Strike, we can always reattach it next turn. We have Mount Cor Coronet to be helping us draw out at least two energy. I also included Solgaleo Prism Star within this deck, and Solgaleo Prism Star is mainly focusing on the Radiant Star attack. It's for each of our opponents' Pokemon in play, attach a Metal Energy card from your discard to your Pokemon in any way you like. And I would thought, this is perfect, it's a basic, we don't need to be evolving like the way we do with the rest of them. Now these are stage 2, so it also affects. So, you know... Having six Pokemon in play is really easy, and attaching six energy is also really easy. So Glay also has this amazing ability, Ultra Road, that will allow us to switch our active Pokemon with one of our bench Pokemon. Therefore, we won't actually get stuck. Now, I do have the classic switch, just in case anything does happen. There's no Slugoleos on the field, or, you know... Maybe we get shut down or something happens. So there's that. Three Lele, I felt like Three Lele was more of a consistent number because we're not running that many supporters. The deck itself is pretty efficient. It is also a secondary attacker. Wouldn't use it much. And since we're losing Bridget as well, Lele would also be beneficial to pull out Cynthia. Now, two Max Potion, since it is a beefy 250 HP. And I'm talking about the local Leo GX. Since it's a 250 um, HP, Max Potion will work really nicely because a lot of Pokemon are trying to to code this bad boy. And the longer we can prevent that from happening, the better. Now, two order pads. I put two order pads in here for a reason. I feel like I should put four. But this order pad helps me take out my Ultra Balls. My rare candies, which is the goal, is to get these rare candies out as quickly as possible, along with the stage two. So that's why the two orb pads are there. Maybe in the near future, I will put two more. So I have four rare candies, and hopefully we don't have to use them much. We do want at least two magnesomes out there, and I probably could reduce this number, but I want to see how these first couple of test runs go. So and I also want to do two switch, um, two. Rescue Stretchers, since there is a lot of evolution going on, I did want to put more and more cards back in my deck, just in case I threw any away with Ultra Ball or anything happened, being knocked out. Now one switch, it's the O switch, you know, just any kind of emergencies. For Ultra Ball, not much to say about that. Now Mount Coronet. Mount Coronet, I wanted to put in here, and I wanted to put three. But since we're going to be heavily dependent on it to withdraw our two metal energy from our discard, I wanted there to be a solid number. For Cynthia's, to shuffle what's in our hand, you know, classic Cynthia stuff. Right now, there's nothing much to discard it, so things going to have to be shuffling back in. Three Guzmas, since there's Ultra Road, there's not much to worry about. Guzmas are more acting like Lysander, so we can actually get what we want to hit. Now, three Lily, as you can see, it's not four. Three is actually a better number since I just want to, or as a player, you should want to expand your hand and see what options you have. 
maybe draw out that rare candy in a stage two. And then some solar and some steel energy, metal energy. Not much to say about that. I saw ten as more of a consistent number. And I'm with a few play tests here and there. I think ten's gonna work. 12 seems like a bit much. I would have liked the trainers to be actually 30 plus, but there is a lot of Pokemon. So I'm not going to have Tsutsubra volunteer today. And he's playing a post rotation Lycan Rock. I can't manage right now. That post rotation Lycan Rock, we both worked on it. It's going to be good to see. What did post like rock actually does? So I'm sending him a friend request. I'm also messaging him to notify him I'm ready. There you go. Maybe you can come up with a post rotation garb Zorark. I know Zorark. Um, Zor and Garbodor was doing better because it ooh, it was actually doing better in the sense of consistency because we had Garbodor with um, Garbotoxin. Now, not starting out with Lele is the greatest. Both decks will be affected by Bridget. And there's not much I can say about besides Bridget going away and breakthrough and all decks are going to be affected by it. It's just one of those things we don't have a choice for. But you know what? It's still really great. And Expand and Expand it's also going to get a more sense of standard because we're getting everything from Breakthrough. There is GXs now as well. And Bridget, a lot of decks are being Basic and all in stage one or in stage two, so having that bridge is going to help explode. Now, Boost Super is actually using Pokemon Fan Club to have a similar effect as you would see inside of Bridget. So let's see. There's one switch, there's one lily. Uh, the order pad would have been nice about right now. I want to thin out this deck as small as possible. That wasn't bad initially. A second more felt like would have been better. Then. I don't want to put Mount Coronet just yet. Zorak also loses its Puzzle of Time. Mellow is still there, but not able to... It's not able to retrieve those Puzzle of Times. It's still able to retrieve whatever we need. There's also Lisa and Tate. Or Tate and Lisa, however. So she'll put a hand through that and draw five cards, which is Shauna, I believe. Well, Shauna will have the option switching our active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. And I see this is pretty active in Zork because you might want to switch with that Lycan Rock. We can see Acrobat coming back. Zork also loses. Zork Lycan Rock also loses its strong energy, which isn't too much. Since it's basically dependent on the second attack of, or the GX attack. And is it a dangerous rogue, I believe? They can always put out Deancy, but that might be a counter as well. It could also be, you know, a one prize attacker. As you can see, these Lele's start to act pretty heavy as in one prize attackers. So you have a really good setup already going. These are not one attacks, I mean, these are two prize targets. I'm 
before I shuffle this back in. I have four Cynthia's, two Sigma, there's a rare candy, uh, the good thing about this Magnus Hunt is that it's at 80. I guarantee you gonna figure out some way. Now he's digging for that DCE. All he needs is a Cynthia or another draw up on Tate and Lisa. Professor Kapui. I wonder if he had to already. There's a DCE. He's gonna hit me for that knockout. An ultra ball would be right would be nice right about now. I don't know if this is shuffle back in yet. But I will take one. For the road. I want to use that just yet. Hopefully we get the Ultra Ball and the... Okay, we just got the Ultra Ball. I can throw away the two already. Get a Magna Zone. I feel like I can already drop the Magna Zone. I'm just going to hold off on this. There's nothing much to do. So I'm starting to see one of the big issues here is having the too many 3-3 three, three lines. So I'm automatically going to drop this and add another order pad. The crushing hammers don't do much within his situation. And they don't do much in the sense of getting rid of it because I'm always going to have a mount coronet ready to go. Like having Magnemite at three. This deck is more of a high high risk and a high high reward. So you would need a choice band right now. I was going to say he would need another one. A Lycan Rock would have been good. An N would have been good right about now too. Or a Wick. Wick is also another option that we can play as a draw support. Since you know our opponent also shuffles back into their hand. The only problem with that is, is having you know, the amount of cards. And I know within this deck, I've had a lot of cards where I could possibly say, hey, you know, I could put this whole hand. There's the Magnus in. He's good for 120. I can see Switch being dropped as well right now. And I do want 
drop way late, but it's okay. Oh, fantastic. I didn't think I could get the option. And then I even have a lily for next turn. So here it is, about time. It took quite a while for him to set up too, and I think that's how decks are going to be after post rotation. It's going to be a little bit of setup, a lot of waiting patiently and strategically doing what we need. Now, he's probably going to come in. I'm going to get the max potion already as it is. Now I have one energy here, which is really good. I'm going to max potion the magnus just in case. I don't need some magnetic circle circuit already. Um, I'll probably should check the energy I had left. Now I can even start booze mining. So there's another Cosmo, good Cosmo M. He needs a choice band, really. And that would allow him for. Oh, that would allow him for knockout. I just want him in the satisfaction of putting another one here, and that gives him a 250, what he needs. A Kukui and a choice band for him, that's saying a lot. There's the play. He's probably going for a Cynthia. If he has a choice ban and um, fighting energy, and that would be pretty beneficial for him. What are we looking for? So I don't know what you're looking for right now. What are you possibly be doing? It's five o'clock my time, so congratulations officially the weekend. It's five o'clock somewhere. Okay, there's a Zorg. There's a DC. That Kukui would have no, that Kukui wouldn't even have helped him. I'm going to do Mount Coronet. Magnetic Circuit. I'm actually going to play the Stretcher so we can get um, Magneton ready. I could essentially play the Sogaleo, but I wouldn't want to do that right now. Um, really don't know where this other man zone is, so I'm just going to drop it, get him a little bit frustrated. I don't know why I did that. Nope. I don't know why I did that. I think the toughest thing is streaming and playing and recording at the same time. I think it was actually one of those talents. It's actually a really big talent for people. So I, anybody that like Table Bond, Yellow Swallow, Sierra Dawn, Sombra, 
props to them because actually talking and commenting is one of the hardest things in recording at the same time. So he's going to shuffle his hand. Could actually bring out a goose. And there's my two max potions already gone, so. And I'm going to do a magnetic circuit to keep this rotating. Overall, it's going to play out for us. Probably have left such a big target out there, but he could probably have a Guzma. He can always rock rough me that. I forget it throws away all of it. That's dumb of me. I got the lily for the win. I actually got more energy out there than I needed. Lycan Rock Zorak actually took a huge beat. And I know he kind of tuned his Zorak like Rock to kind of defeat his deck. And within the to defeat the deck, you actually really have to hit the babies before everything starts setting up. I do really like it though. And who knows, Sogolo GX could be the future. I just see it more as a, a tier B, tier 2 kind of situation. What's going on with him? I also have a video of Boosted Subaru actually opened up a Celestial Storm. And it is a Skype video, and you know, it's nothing of like, wow. It was awesome to see the Skype, him opening the Celestial Storm pack. And I'll tell you why, because he was the first one out of our friend group to actually op open up Celestial Storm, if I'm right. So many ultra roads. This deck actually worked out better, even with me doing that little hiccup. Picking up that momentum and, you know, having that 230. So I'm actually going to do a few touches since I notice it real quickly. So I'm going to drop one Magna Zone. I feel like I don't need the four. I think the Laylees are good. And I will update these later. I like the Max Potion though. Since there's a 150 rather than the 140 on Magnus, it actually comes in handy. He just texted me right now saying like he couldn't hit the one two fifty. I I knew he was gonna use the GX attack, so that's why I wouldn't bench down. So another key to making sure that you don't get hit by a GX attack blocking lock is minimizing the bench, and that comes from a lot of luck too, because Lele it takes up a space and you know you just don't want to see that uh, I don't know who Princess Aurora is do you think I can get in a green is that Sierra Dawn I am not a hundred percent sure if this is Sierra Dawn
don't know what I'm waiting for, actually. I'm going to see Boosted Super boosted Subros uh, for another one. Let's see. Let's go Galeo. Excuse me, sorry about that. We're going to do this again. He's going to play it. Maybe he has actually. Uh, he was telling me that he was digging for a pal pad. And for the Kukui. You know, that would have actually been a whole lot better for him. Okay, so there's the pal pad. There's even a little leaf turn. Do you want to get more Cosmog out? And, uh, Magnus, Magnus might. Let's see. So it's not a bad hand. He's going first again, which I can't believe. So this is the second time we go second. Tatum, Lisa. I guess that'd be better. The closest thing to a Cynthia. Plus, imagine the six, and then having the option to switch. It'd be kind of broken, to be honest. I could ultra ball already, which is what I want to do. I do want to shuffle the max potion back in and the Cosmo M. So dropping the Lily and dropping the Pidgey is not going to be too much. There's a Magmite. Just do one more of each and drop support in. Asking for a lot. Here's that. It really does. You just gotta land that head for it to be that good. Uh, I don't wanna drop a magnezone already. I'll just pass it on to him. I don't know what I'm doing. And there's the knockout on that Cosmog. Tate and Lisa's actually... It's pretty interesting getting in that shuffle and switching it, but I have Ultra Road. So I didn't want to put it in this deck. The more I see it. Order Pad came in clutch. I just wasn't able to get the last Cosmog I needed. And there's four in there. Can always trade still for 80. I guarantee he has one more card in there. I'm gonna drop one of the next potions. I'm the zone. can always retrieve the max zone. Here's one of my three Lele. There's so many options. Uh, it's not what I need right now, but okay. I can always go back in for another Lele. <sighs> so, he has 80. I can guarantee he trades enough, or if he has another draw support, he'll go. What he wants to do. See, and Lisa, how many do you have in there, bro? Third one, right? And that's already a knockout. That's the five that he needed. Luckily, I have Rick Handy down there. I don't have anything set up.
tomorrow, as in tomorrow the 11th, I'll be going in to a local tournament. Usually there, people buy ahead of time the new releases, and then they are able to play ahead of time. So, which I don't like, because it's still within, our format is still standard without Celestial Storm. As and so tomorrow, it's going to be kind of weird, because we're going to see Celestial Storm decks out. And I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going with the Buzzwool deck. I'm going to do Baby Buzzwool. And I figured out a more consistency with Baby Buzzwool. And so I'm hoping that it takes off and that it does really well. My last Cynthia has it. My last Lily's in there as well. I have one Cynthia prize, one Cosmog prize. I didn't even get energy out here. What to do, really? I feel like this is the best option out of anything I could do right now. There's only one Lily. The deck took forever. That's why I say it's a tier 2. I don't even have to put spend in there to give it the knockout that I needed. Because that would have been 110, 220. If he has that last energy. Righteous beating. And he knows I don't have toy spend. That's the thing that gets me. He knows I don't have poison. Back. I don't even know why I did that. I should have knocked out his Zorg. I should have knocked out this baby Zerua. Actually, I couldn't. 60. A choice man has officially bit me back in the butt. I'm still not going to play it though because I didn't expect it to be this slow. Shouldn't have thrown away that lily. No. I don't think he's looking for that rock energy. I feel like now, since he's just running rock fighting energy, he should include at least 10 energy, 6. Actually, 5 would do. I think over 6 would do better. Just because it's not strong energy. And there's no form of recovery in our for energy. So, that's one of the bad things about post rotation. There's not a lot of energy recovery. Okay. So, that's the. Um... If he gets the choice man and plays out another bench on his knockout. That was a better game for him to see his deck. Alright, I'm gonna do one more. Two more. Play first time. Actually, I'll let him. I'll let him. I'll tell him to go first. Go 
hopefully the odds, because that's what you want to do with this deck, is go first, since we gotta evolve with it first. That's the third time I lose this coin toss. This game is rigged. Actually, my, my luck is just as bad in real life. Don't want to get rid of that candy. I feel like Max Potion is just a throw at this point. It was being really beneficial last game. This order pad is going to be the one that determines. Rip. Out of all the basic Pokemon that are in here, I still cannot get it lately. By the way, I'm also looking for people to be sponsor Patreon. Help me with my art. Help me get better. Help me buy codes. You can always donate codes. I will even take donations and put a small ad with it on the Twitch channel, on the YouTube channel. Anything I appreciate it. I do have a Patreon. I will be putting up panels for my Twitch. If anybody knows the graphic artist, I would like to also design my panels for Twitch and YouTube. Quick help. I'm just trying to make better content. I'm trying to get out to more tournaments, see me some more tournaments. I will be doing more tournaments to see um, IRL because, as you know, PTC and GO does do different. So some decks that will actually work here might not work as well. Some decks that work well in PCGO might not work well in real life. And we actually figured out that the hard way when we played Zorark. Um, what was the full line of Zorark for the 2018 Dallas Regionals? And yes, 2018, not the 2019. I don't know how Pokemon actually has this set up. Crushing Hammer. When will he learn that Crushing Hammer doesn't do much? There's that acrobite. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm also looking for people to do music. So if you are an up and coming artist and that owns their own music, let me know so I can actually put it on the channel. Yes. Uh, the rare candy is going back in. Yeah, let's go back in actually. I'm actually going to drop them. Okay. And I'm actually going to bring up the Lele. Let's see. I actually have two Ultra Ball prized, one Cynthia prized, one Lily, so that makes three, five, seven, nine, one Steel Energy prized, one Guzma prized. And one Magnezone. Magneton prize. Okay. Not bad prizes. The benefit that every player I feel like should know. Is the memorization of their deck. And it comes in because you can work around the prize pad. Nope. I'm actually going to attach them to Lele. I probably should attach them to you. To Solgaleo. I just don't want to knock out the Solgaleo. Prism start so easily. Not having Cosmog out turn one actually does hurt this deck so much. And there's so many Pokemon in there that 
having Cosmog turn on it should be a 1 in 60, about 1 in 15 actually. I want to get rid of the energy. I'm hoping for some evolution lines here. There's the rare candy. I don't want to drop that just yet. So I'll be able to use the ability. And I'll have another Lele to spare. Magnetic circle circuit. Alright, this is a little bit better in the league. Not much of a difference that I've not seen. Turn 1 did kind of help. It just said, it's just the waiting game that has to happen with Sogaleo GX is the one that you have to win at. It's also a lot of luck that I'm trying to see as well. The right cards. Of course, start Magnemite and 2 Cosmog. 2 Magnemite and 2 Cosmog as a pretty ideal start. Now, since I already used Max Potion to delay the game a bit, I wonder what's going to happen just because I already have five of my nine energies out already. Should there be a field blower in this deck? Yes. Um, an order pack might be taken out, a rescue structure might be taken out. A Guzma. I really do wish Max Flux would be back. A lot of decks are going to have trouble, but like I said, they're going to be trying to reach for that 250, take three turns, and by then, Zogaleo is going to power up. Also, hitting this 150 Magma Zone is going to be kind of difficult because. As I said in earlier videos, anything that's not odd or even right now, it's really Pokemon to hit. But yeah, if, it's, if it's odd, it's always going to be hard to hit because we see a more concurrent, um, a more concurrent game of you know, 120, 140, 160. And even then, sometimes 160, it's really hard. Does that mean I cannot use this attack? Well, it doesn't even matter. Now that's a knockout already for Lycan Rocket there. If he's able to get Lycan Rocket will be able to knock them out. I'm going to put the potential threats in. I do have the ability now. Cosmog, then an Ultra Ball. I can potentially set up two Magnum Magneton. It's not going to fit though because there's so much energy. There's the 130. Do you have Guzma? That's the question. I know he's going to come and use the GX attack, but. Ugh. Choice Fan would have came really, really good right now. What does Choice Fan do to you? 160? Doesn't do much. What to do? What to do? Oh, uh, that would have been not. Alright. 
So I know he's going to get rid. I don't want to... I can get rid of one of the Solgaleos. Actually, I don't want to get rid of one of the Solgaleos. And I'm going to have that there. And I'm going to use... Corona Impact. Also one of my favorite drinks, Corona. <sighs> so even if he does retreat, I can always go and find it. So he's going to have to you know, one hit KO right now. So New Guzma. New Guzma is always going to be his friend. So 1 out of 12, he has a possibility of pulling one Guzma. That's not really a big chance of now Guzma. And especially if he's going to start trading or ultra balling. I wonder how many Lele's he runs. I think it's two. Now, within this deck, you, I know I haven't seen a lot. Ah. What the heck? What a good play. What a fantastic play. I really don't know what to say to that. I was not expecting the Acerola. And I told him to play Acerola in this deck. So as you can see, Zora's like actually still has a lot of life within it left. I really did wish I had a choice then. I'm going to put one energy on one of these. And just so there could be the possibility. Now, without a doubt, he can possibly get that Guzma out. Probably should have dropped one of these. Attack out. There's just a lot left. Let's see. We have two Guzma left, I know. Unless one's still prized. Not having choice fat really, really does stink. I might do two choice fat in this deck. I wouldn't know what to take out. I feel like since he has, there's no parallel city either now because parallel city's gone. I might take out a Mount Cornet just next game. Copy it though. I really like this list that I have right now. He did have the Guzma, which makes this seem really interesting. I have two Cosmog left inside. Bro, Floodstone's not legal. I just realized this. I don't know how I could have missed this. Bloodstone is not post rotation. And he played Professor Kukui. That's so funny. I can't believe I didn't realize this till now. Well, there's the one 
ability that he needed. Now it's just a rush to time. When is it get ready? When is it getting reprinted? Doubt is getting reprinted in their clap. I'm getting rid of this Magnemite. I know I have one Lele left. It doesn't. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what to say to that. Right now, it's just more of a death, just sniping stuff. Kakui does really power up this deck, and that's what it needs, actually. One thirty. Well, that was game. Do not have bloatstone with suck. Yeah, it's gonna suck. It's gonna be a world without bloatstone. That's why I was saying a skateboard was the play or having something else. We're gonna play one more game. We're gonna call it a night. Well, we're gonna call it a short brief break. I'll probably be streaming later on tonight though. And if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. I will be giving away this weekend soon. Uh, the weekend of, what is it, the 10th of August through 12th of August. And it's also going to be Community Day. Well, tomorrow's the 12th through the 13th. 12th and 13th is Community Day for Pokemon Go on TV. And then I'm going to be giving away a Celestial Storm ETB code. So we'll bring more details about that. I'm pretty sure having Floatstone that last game would have been effective. I'm almost positive. No, he's right. It would have affected. He still would have won. I should have got. I'm gonna let him play since we are already seen a lot of Lycan Rock. Zorark. Well, give me a 2 2 plays if he lets me go first. Like Solgolite, but it's a fun deck. Would it be anything to go to a post rotation? Finally, I go first out of my first four games. 
Um, it wouldn't be post rotation though. I wouldn't go play it at any any regional. If you're goofing off and you're going for fun, you're going side and sure, you're going to your local tournament. Go ahead, have a kicker at it. I'm pretty cheap right now too. Now I'm gonna be able to get this Cosmo going. Which I'm really happy for. But again, one more Cosmog and the Magnemite out there. It's our last game. I don't need the sass. Okay, I'm, gonna do, I'm not going to do Mount Coronet yet. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to do it just yet because I'm going to have to retrieve it. Lily's in there. It's not too bad. Not too bad of a start. Not the start I wanted, but not too bad overall. And I can always Mount Coronet that back. And it's actually going to be a good game. I like it. And I'm starting to hate Tatum. He's, uh, he's always doing it. He probably has a three. He probably has four. I haven't seen the whole deck yet. I think I have permission. It's good that he's throwing away that hand hammer. It's a plus that he threw away the Guzma. Alright, I, I got this. I can't retreat, but an ability won't affect it. Shouldn't affect it. I want to play with the gold one, but I feel like the gold one is just for collection. I might get one for collection. I really like the rainbow one. Since it's the sun and suns create rainbow, you, yeah, you get it. Do I always have to take up to two? I said May. I don't know why it didn't let me. Okay, I can alter road, right? Okay, ah, that's what I was worried about. That I was not able to alter road. And it's still, wow. One. Powered up just took forever. Look at hands. <sighs> you have the goose muscle, which is not bad. I also have one spare metal energy, so I can actually. Sun still strike. I just don't know what he's going for. I don't know what he's gonna start. There you go. He's gonna start looking for uh Magnemite, yeah. I wonder if Netball would actually be kind of beneficial on here. There's just gonna be combination. Maybe two not Lily. I wouldn't know, to be honest. I was getting super confused. No, uh, okay, great, great. Easy two prizes. Pad and rescue treasure, not a bad combination. Maybe we can order pad for another U ball. Mellow digging, what you digging for? How 
having Ultra Pro 2 now allow me to switch out the Soul Leo. And there's a Lily. Ooh, heads, perfect. I got the Yuval, another Cosmog. Actually, I can start the Circuit series. Uh, I'm gonna throw away. Yeah. This would be good. Now, the hand was. This turn was a really, really lucky turn. And this game was really lucky. I'm gonna look for three. There's an order pad. I'm feeling brave. I'm gonna get up there. And then there's the Corona impact for knockout. Having these two combos by themselves is also deadly. Just because you can ultra row, you can Guzma. Uh, like I said, choice is kind of beneficial. Because if you had Lily, uh, Lele out there, I'd be definitely targeting it with Guzma and Ultra Road. He's going to trade. He's actually being a really good sport for letting me finish out this game. Because I know I would have quit by now. Pretty cool getting the Sogaleo and having a rotation of Sogaleo GX. That ultra road ability does come in handy, like I said. Things to look out for is uh, sniping. There's going to be a lot of sniping too with the Buzzwolf against Sogaleo GX. You wouldn't want to see them hit for What is it now? They're not going to have beast energy. Um, Regirox. So Princess Deans, uh, Deans is going to be there, but it's Princess's charm. It's going to also have, so that's already 50 plus, or 30 plus, actually, so that's a 50 base. Um, all they would really need to do is, is figure out how to get 10 more. I guess you could use Beast Energy, but I feel like that's a waste. You don't have to worry about um, types being typed. Oh, might not be seeing as much play. Also, we'll do a video over Ho. -Oh. That's everything we need. Really great. And Ultra Road in. Like I said, I really like this deck a lot. Garbage or resisting against Garbage or. We don't. We do kind of use a lot of items. I really have five, five, seven, eight. It's kind of a lot of items to be working. Eight. What else? I'm thinking Lapras wouldn't be doing too much damage, especially this Mega Potion. I think Ultra Necro would be struggling too to hit against this deck. Well, this is the end of the stream for right now. This is the end of the YouTube video. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe to this channel. And I'm growing this channel as much as I can. I appreciate everyone that's coming on to this journey with me. There'll be more episodes to come. I appreciate every single one of you for coming out to this stream as well. Thank you, and until next time, I'm your boy, Last Night, and keep playing PTCGO.